Welcome to Register Training 101, a beginner's guide to success. Section 1, Living Our Values. Our values help guide our everyday decisions. Our company values give us the reason for why we do what we do each day. Let's review our values. Our first value is safety meaning the state of being safe, being protected from harm, and that goes for employees as well as guests. We want to create a safe environment to work and to shop in. Integrity is our second value. It's all about the quality of being honest, doing the right thing. Fun is our third value. Fun is about the enjoyment of an experience, creating excitement. Most of our guests are here on vacation. You wanna have fun on a vacation. We wanna create a fun shopping environment for our guests. Efficiency, the extent to which time, effort, or cost is well used for the intended task or function. That being said, simply, it's about working smart and not necessarily hard. Use the tools that are available to you in your position to make your job easier. Our last value is community. A community is a social unit that shares common values. We have a community of coworkers, of guests, other shops in the village, Lancaster County as a whole. There are people around us that support us. So part of our commitment to our community is to give back to those who have given to us. A memory aid for remembering our values is the acronym SIFEC. Let's talk about before your shift starts. When you're scheduled on a register, plan to come in a few minutes early so you can get situated before you punch in. Use those few minutes to do the following. Get your drink from the cafe, use the restroom, pick up your free cookie from the bake shop, put your things in a locker, lock it, and remember to take the key with you. Put on your apron and your name tag, and then your last step is check in with your captain, check your schedule, find out what your assignments are for the day. Then you're ready to head to the registers to clock in. Remember, when you're clocking in, that is the start of your shift. So don't clock in until you are ready to start working. Beginning your shift. We start with preparing your workspace. Ask yourself, is your workspace safe? Make sure there are no tripping hazards, that your credit card machine and your stapler are secured to the base above the monitor, nothing sharp is sticking out from any of the edges or underneath, and no plastic bags are shoved behind your computer tower. This could pose a fire risk. Then ask yourself, do you have all the supplies you'll need for today? Do you have your calculator? Do you have your stapler and is it full with staples? Are your cheat sheets? scan sheets and mail order sheets in your folder or easily accessible? Do you have enough pens? Do you have a highlighter? And are your boxes of receipt and credit card paper full and stocked to begin the day? Checking out guests. Now it's time to call a guest to your register. Once they arrive, follow these five basic steps. First, Greet them, make eye contact and smile. Scan their items, suggest an add-on, box and or bag their purchase, and then close the sale, hand them their receipt, thank them and invite them to come back. Use your downtime wisely. When there are no guests in line, take a deep breath to focus yourself and then see what needs to be done. You can return carts and baskets to the sales floor, go get boxes from the back room, finish any shipping orders you may have taken, go get bags from the warehouse, fill in the candy at the registers and in the bookcases, fill the water cooler, or go get more boxes to fold and then continue folding them. Remember, one person must always stay at the registers. 
closing checklist. If you are scheduled past 3 p.m., you will be expected to help with the register closing checklist items, even if you are not staying until close. Some of these items can be completed while still at the registers, and others require one person to be gone for a while. It is important that you communicate with each other when leaving the register so that only one person is gone at a time. And as always, the guest in line comes first above anything else. Cleaning up. It is your responsibility to clean up your workspace at the end of your shift. Straighten and fill your bags, take out your trash, make sure you take your drink with you, and leave your area the way you found it, or better. Let's review what we talked about in section one. We started with Kitchen Kettle's five values. They are safety, integrity, fun, efficiency, and community. We can remember these values by the acronym SIFEC. Before punching in, you should Get a drink and your cookie. Use the restroom. Put on your apron and name tag. Put your things in a locker and remember to take the key with you. And finally, check in with your captain so you know your assignments for the day. We also talked about using your downtime wisely. Returning carts and baskets to the floor, filling your supplies, and filling product in the bookcases. And lastly, keeping your workspace neat and clean. Leave your area filled, straightened, and better than you found it at the beginning of your shift.